Hi everyone, welcome to Late Night Snack. I'm Allison Kinnear with Voice of Her Own, and Late Night Snack is just a time to talk about self-care and parenting and just life. And today, this kind of falls in the self-care and life range, and it's called Don't Believe Everything You Think. My, I used to have a, a really amazing therapist who said that, that she had that on her bump a bumper sticker that said that, and I've seen those bumper stickers around. Don't believe everything you think. And I remember the first time hearing this, just being like, what do you mean, don't believe everything you think? Like, thinking is good. Thinking is important. Thinking is, like, what our brains are here for. Uh, but over time, I began to realize that we have to be mindful of the thoughts that are occurring, that are just racing through our head a million miles a minute, and be aware of some of the things that we tell ourselves. And those are the things that we can't always believe to be true. Uh, so, you know, it's one of those things where the, th the messages, the things we think about ourselves can easily before become our belief about ourselves, which then can impact the way we feel toward ourselves and to others. And then, uh, and then what's interesting is that our, the, our external world can reflect that. So for example, um, one of the stories that you've heard me tell before around, um, my own imposter syndrome is that for many, many years, I just thought I was not worthy of my job. I thought that I was, a fr I felt like a fraud. I would tell myself, gosh, you're so stupid. You don't know what you're doing. And that thought would race through my mind a million times a day. And then over time, a couple of things happened. I received a new manager who was like the physical embodiment of every negative thought I had had about myself. So it's funny, our world starts to reflect back our inner world, our external world can reflect back our internal world. But the other thing that starts happening is that suddenly those, th that belief around, I don't know what I'm doing here, I can't believe I'm in this position, starts to become a truth. It starts to become debilitating. Because those kinds of negative thoughts, while they can help in a short term, you know, maybe that can help you kind of get up, get up and get out the door or power through a certain project. It helps in the short term. But in the long term, it can be quite damaging. And it it can be very easy to get lost and to start feeling like, I, I don't even know. I don't even know why I was hired for this position, or I don't even know why I'm in this relationship. I don't even know why this person finds me attractive. I don't even, I, I, I you can lose sight of all of that. You can be like, I don't even remember how that happened. Um, and you know, it wasn't until I started being more aware of the thoughts that were coming through my head and holding myself in a more compassionate place that my career started to get very successful. So it's interesting, right? We have to be aware of the things that we're thinking. And there's, there's actually two things um, that we can do to help ourselves get out of this negative thought pattern that can so easily dominate our, um, our, dominate our lives. So the first thing is to build awareness around it. Um, and we can do this in a couple of ways. One is just to pay attention, to pay attention to the thoughts that are coming through, uh, and to notice when it be, starts to become hostile territory. Another thing that we can do to build awareness is to become more aware of the ways in which we judge other people. So the reason why this is important is because if we are judging other people, then that is usually a reflection of things that we are judging ourselves for. So if we're judging another person on their parenting, we probably feel sensitive about some part of our parenting. If you are judging someone on their body and the way they look, then chances are you might be judging yourself around your body and the way you look. 
if you are judging somebody about um, getting tasks done in a timely manner, you might also feel like maybe you don't get tasks done in a timely manner. So these are things, these are indications because our world kind of reflects back to us what we're putting out there. So to build awareness can be really helpful, right? To build awareness of all those thoughts racing through and also of the judgments we have of others because they're often reflections of ourselves. So that's the first step. Um, and then the second step is to get really curious. Um, you know, I know for me that if I notice, okay, I'm, I'm telling myself I'm really stupid. Let's say I'm, that's just what I do. I my, that's my go-to. You're just, you're just stupid. And if I'm telling myself that I, I have had the tendency in the past to be like, okay, well, I will just not tell myself that anymore. <laughs> I will just, nope, I'm really smart. That's what I'm going to tell myself. I'm just going to tell myself I'm really smart. And that doesn't always work, right? Because part of it doesn't feel true. Um, and another part of it is just like trying to shut it down, you know, like just put a lid on it. Let's just change this whole thing. Um, and things don't exactly switch so easily. So oftentimes what we have to do is instead get really curious. So something else that, that you could do instead is, you know, for me, I notice I'm saying to myself, I'm so stupid, blah, blah, blah. Then I can get curious. You know, Brene Brown calls this the rumble, to rumble with the thoughts that we have, to rumble with the beliefs we have, to rumble with the assumptions we're making about a given situation or about ourselves. To rumble with it means to get curious about it and to kind of challenge it and to say, well, wait a second, is that true? Am I am I really stupid? Is that, is that a true thing? Or am I feeling, or if what is actually more true is I'm feeling overwhelmed and confused and I don't know what step to take because chances are that's more true, but I can only come to that conclusion if I start to get curious and start to, to say, well, hold on a sec. You know, that's when we don't believe everything we think. We can have a belief about ourselves, but we can say, well, hold on. Is that true? Um, you know, if you have a belief about your body, if you have a belief about your capabilities at work, if you have a belief around whatever, whatever the thing is that comes up for you, you can challenge it back and say, is that true? Um, and then there's, there's a whole bunch of other things that you can do too, but just starting with building awareness and building some curio some curiosity can really, um, you know, can really propel you into a whole other, uh, healthier mindset. So I just wanted to talk about that because I'm finding it coming up a lot, um, around me. And every time things start bubbling around me, I just, I just put it out there on late night snacks. So I hope you find that to be helpful. Uh, let me see who is on here. I see Paulina. Hi, Paulina from Bellingham. Let's see. Can I see who is here? I can only see Paulina, but I know there are three more people watching, but I can only get it in the comments. So I can only see who you are in the comments. Uh, Oh, I have a couple of things that I wanted to tell you about. Uh, for those of you who are local in the near Maple Valley, even if you're in Issaquah or Auburn or wherever, this Saturday at Lake Wilderness Park is the Harvest Festival. Oh, Angie. Hey, how you doing? Um, this this Saturday is the Harvest Festival. This is um, a big festival for children and families uh, who who want to connect with nature. And there's all these amazing crafts, and usually there's animals. And it's a uh, run through Green Play Cooperative, which is um, my son's uh, old outdoor preschool and a school that uh, my husband's on the board and I'm deeply connected with as well. It's a really great event. Our family loves it all every year. Um, there's usually some opportunities for music and storytelling and just, it's just incredible. Great community. Um, 
and uh and then oh hold on i'm gonna go to the comments because i see tara you just asked a really hold on let me read uh hi friend needed this one tonight have stuff happening and need to be curious about what's really happening in my head you are amazing thank you tara and yes it's important to get curious um don't let those beliefs overrun you and you know another thing that you can do around that awareness and that curiosity is, um, you know, oftentimes we, this is when we need the support of other people. If we're looking at the judgments that we have of other people, it helps us look at ourselves. And the same can be true around our strengths. We can turn to the people who know us and love us and trust us and get curious with them. If you're having a hard time with something, um, you can not only get curious with yourself, but you can get curious with your friends and say, what is it? I don't know, you know, like I've been really running in my head that I'm, that I'm, I'm not good enough or whatever the thing is that's, that's happening and say, um, I'm trying hard to challenge it. What, what do you see? Um, because the people who know you and love you and trust you, um, they're, they're going to tell you. And then your job will be to receive. Receive, receive, receive. And this is why it's important that it comes from someone who you know very well and who you trust because you don't want someone who you're worried is going to be blowing smoke up your rear end. Um, you're going to want someone who you can really like rely on. So yeah, hope that's helpful. Uh, uh, what else? Oh, 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 I'm so excited. So Next month, October 11th, I will be in downtown Seattle at the 2120 restaurant. This is with W North. W North is a networking organization for professional women who want to uh, build up their career and get into upper leadership. So it's a really great organization. I've um, connected with the president and the founder of W North and the leaders that are here in Seattle um, running the Seattle chapter. There's also a W North in, in it started in Whistler. Um, there's a chapter in Seattle and San Francisco, New York, and I believe London. Anyway, it's growing quickly in a lot of cities. And this event is open not only to W North members, but it's also open to the public. So if you are interested in coming to dinner and hearing my talk about imposter syndrome, uh, that will be happening on October 11th. So I'll put the links um, down below in the comments so you can check that out. Anyway, thank you so much for coming on, for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful night of uninterrupted sleep tonight and always. Have a great night.